Brody. Training with Matt. Is it good? Morning. Um, the reason it's so dark is because we are taking Melissa to work this morning. It's currently 10 past 7 in the morning. We've been up since half past 6. Um, we are late. And yeah, we are actually late. We are going to get Mel to work at 7.33, which is uh, three minutes late for her shift. So that's not good. Um, but for those of you that don't know, uh, Melissa is a nurse. Um, so she gets to work ridiculous hours, and that includes ridiculous starts. However, the reason I'm driving her in today isn't just because I'm a very nice person, uh, it's because I haven't got a car at the minute. Because uh, I now have managed to get my third puncture in a month. Um, so, to recap, as you would know if you watched the first video, uh, I got one the week of Christmas in my front left. Well, they've both been my front left. That punch, that tire that I just punched is brand new. That's great. So, my front left was one that I will admit I was driving for a place I didn't know. I hit a pothole and I burst my tire. So, that was superb news. Um, then, once I got that repaired the week after, um, or a couple of days after, I then got a Stanley blade in my back right tyre um, after me and Mel went to Blue Water, which again, if you watched the first year, you will know that. Um, and then, yeah, Thursday night, I skimmed the edge of a pothole and burst my tyre again. So, and before this, your front right had a nail in it and a slow puncture that ended up being lots of slow. Yes, oh, yeah, and then last summer, um, my front right, yeah, it had a nail really deep in it. Um, and then because it got so hot outside, my tyre expanded so much that the nail basically just fell out of my tyre, and um, then the puncture wasn't so slow. So I had to drive home from Chelmsford, being at work, and I stopped like three or was it two or three times? Yeah. Um, and I had to pump my tyre up each time, and it made a really funny squeaking sound every time I pumped it up because as I was driving, obviously it was going over the hole, so it was going. Woo, 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 woo. Whilst I was driving, which is not funny. But as the title will tell you, today we are going through my leg day. So, for those of you that are interested and/or asked about my leg day and what I do and the way I do it, you're about to find out. Mel is trying her very hardest to keep this camera as still as she can, but the road is so bumpy that it's just it's just not going to happen. Um, but yeah, so we'll flip to me in about 40 minutes time. No, we'll go with 20 minutes time once we drop Mel off at work and I'll, uh, I'll explain today's video to you. Okay, so we're back, we're home. Um, so quickly to fly in, obviously sort myself out, get out of these clothes, get into some fresh clothes for the gym. Um, yeah, I'm so tired. That I'm so tired, but that's fine. We will have some caffeine um, to wake us up a little bit, um, and yeah, we should be absolutely fine. Let's get indoors, get ready for the gym. Take you through kind of like it's eight o'clock, so we're not going to gym until like after midday. Um, we might end up going a little bit sooner because me and Tom are quite indecisive on times. But either way, get a very good leg session in. I will try and talk on camera. Only problem being, it's really fucking loud in the gym. So if I can't, I will just do a voiceover. Um, Carl's making noise at me. Uh, but fingers crossed it should be fine. But yeah, like I say, if not, I'll just voice over what I'm doing, what's going through my mind when I'm doing it, and what I'm looking for during the workouts. So, for people that aren't too interested in the gym, this probably won't be a video for you, but if you just enjoy the content, stick around. You might learn something new today, it might spark an interest, 
who knows? Um, but either way, I'm going to stop rambling on. We're going to go inside, get ready, and I'll see you probably in an hour or so when I'm making some food because I might have a nap. Great. Oh. Hello. Uh. Um, this wasn't what you expected, but I'm ripping down the ceiling, so um, it's quite fun. So I thought I'd kind of bring you along. Uh, so I'm just going to say, oh, basically, long story short, we're converting the garage into a living room, um, but we need to obviously do the whole room with the new ceiling and shit. I don't really know. Um, but my dad has employed me to pull down the ceiling. So I've pulled down this corner. Uh, I'm going to leave this corner to last because there's a light on it. <coughs> and I'm going to pull that one down. As you can see, I've like channeled a hole there already. Um, but yeah, I'm moving this down. So I thought I would bring you along so you can watch me do it. But I'm just going to send a video to Mel quickly. Um, the ceiling and stuff. And I've made a hole for the next one. And. Oh, say hello to the vlog. Wee! I've finished helping my dad downstairs. My brother's taking over because there's like half a roof panel left to do. However, it's nearly 12 o'clock. I need to have a shower, eat some more, and then basically get ready to go to the gym. Um, however, my old rugby team haven't got a game today and they're playing at home. So there's a fair chance we might stop by just to wish them luck and things like that. However, I'm covered in ceiling dust. I've breathed in a copious amount of it, don't do that. I ended up working like this for a lot of it, just to cover my nose and that because I don't want that shit in my lungs, boy. Out of the shower, all washed, clean and stuff. This is a weird angle to film myself from, but we're ready to go gym. Simple black socks, black gym shark shorts. These have actually got thermals underneath, even though they look very, very short. Just an oversized night jumper. I've got a gym shark top underneath this as well. Uh, just in case I don't want to take it off. But yeah, very simple outfit, just because I don't really care, if I'm honest. Um, annoyingly, though, I have to wear white trainers because I haven't actually got any like, black leather trainers that I could wear like, with a decent sole, um, like without my bubbles or anything like that, basically. Um, so, I have to wear white trainers, which is a little bit shit, but still kind of good. I've not too bad um, but we need to go get a drink drink my creatine or have my creatine <clears throat> then have a drink and make another drink to take to the gym go to the protein bar now um, there's actually one downstairs for me and also have another snack it's going to be squares bars today because I'm now in a rush because uh, I'm leaving for the gym in probably like 10 minutes so that's great um but yeah, either way, let's go get ready to hit some legs. I had a slight brain lapse and forgot to film whilst I was walking through the house, but um, had me protein bar. It was one of the my protein like waffle wafer. Yeah, that makes brain. Uh, either way, I'm, I'm gonna try and put a picture here. One of them. Um, yeah, I didn't get around to having my squares bar, so they're in my bag, but I'll eat them when I get to the gym. Um, so that's all fun and games. I've got my pre no my creatine in here. Um, 
yeah because I do I actually hate drinking the powder um, I prefer taking the tablets but every time I go around to it I end up buying the powder and then it turns up and I'm like why did I get that I hate it so next time I'm gonna order the tablets because I prefer taking the uh, the, the tablets um, just easier either way we are now going to the gym it's only like a 10 minute drive from mine so it's not too far uh, I didn't know your mum had a mini yeah, mate, we're mini bros. We're mini bros, boy. <laughs> we're not in our S2s. We're, we're just in our minis. <laughs> <laughs> we're on camera. Leg like me and Matt. This is Tom. Um, this camera, mate. You're getting on the pin. Sorry, mate. But yeah, we're actually starting on the pendulum, which is this horrific thing here. Um, it's loaded at the back. Put a band. Training with Matt. Is again. Okay, so. Um, a quick overview of the pendulum as you can see it's a rear loaded machine focus here for me is get my feet as low on the pad as possible to make sure that I'm making it as quad biased as I can um, normal aim is a three second eccentric which is the downward movement and a two second concentric which is the upward movement so basically three seconds on the way down two ish seconds on the way up and um, every now and then you'll see me hold at the top for a second or two um, obviously this is a very light warm-up set so we're just kind of getting the movement where it needs to be warming up the joints and making the body feel good um, but yeah this is my starting point for my quad day Okay, so swiftly moving into our leg extension. Uh, the aim on this one is basically just to take the quad through the shortened and lengthened range um, that you can work it through. So the shortened one being when it's at the top, so you've brought your leg up and you're tensing your leg. The lengthened range is when your knee is tucking under your bum. Um, the reason I do it single leg is I prefer to be able to isolate the muscle and work on one individual leg at a time. It just helps me with my mind muscle connection. I can focus on the one leg at a time. If you do prefer doing it um, with both your legs at the same time, that's absolutely fine. Just make sure you're focusing on the movement and allowing for the stretch and at the top, maybe adding a little bit of a hold just to increase the intensity because we're using two legs, you might find it a little bit easier. Um, this again is a warm up set for me, so I'm not going too hard or anything. I'm not focusing too much on holds. Again, I'm just trying to get the movement where I want it to be when I go into my heavier working sets. Um, other than that, pretty simple movement, but I found it very, very effective for my leg work recently. Now we fly into the hack squat. Obviously, this is gonna be definitely movement of the leg session. Uh, here it is reverse banded, you just can't see it, but on the other side, it is reverse banded to help at the lower range of the, of the hack, just because I don't want it too bearing on my knees. But again, slow, controlled, three second down, two to three second up, simple. Here, we're just jumping straight into our hamstring curls. Um, 
the main thing on the hamstring curl is making sure you're positioned in the right place. So as you can see here, Tom's just moved his seat forward, basically to get himself in the correct place. Yes, we have a seat belt on our hamstring curl. It's because we're cool. The main thing I would say here is having your knees in line with the rotation of the hamstring curl. So wherever your hamstring curl rotates, that's where you want your knees to be. So you can use your heels effectively to drive up to your bum. Um, again, here, same as the rest of the movement, you want slow, controlled, but you want to make sure that you're feeling a nice, good squeeze on your hamstrings. Um, again, a very simple but effective movement to help with the growth. Just make sure you've got your intensity in the correct place. Cool, and this is our final movement of the day. We jump into a heavy, heavy leg press here. Again, we're making it quad bias by bringing our feet right down to the bottom of the pad to the point where our hips and our knees allow us due to flexibility. Obviously, it's gonna be different for everyone at this point, but I'm quite flexible, so I'm quite lucky there. All I'm aiming for here is obviously knees straight into chest. And we're gonna drive for our heels to make sure that obviously there's no feet coming off the pad or anything like that. Um, yeah, again, here, key is intensity. Load up the leg press until you're comfortable and your form isn't going to dip. It is key to have good form on this. Um, other than that, like I say, we're just putting feet to the bottom of the pad, allowing it to come all the way down as far as we can, driving through. Again, we kind of want a bit of a slower eccentric here. I will criticize myself. I would prefer it to be slower. Um, but yeah, key is intensity. Make sure you've loaded it up make sure you're working hard but again a very simple but effective movement here bonjour my people okay so um i'm probably gonna have to voice over all of that and me saying this now is me saying thank you for listening to that massive voiceover section that i've just done while sitting at home on my ass um <clears throat> but that was my full leg day the only thing i actually forgot to record was calves uh, but all I did was carve raises. So, yeah, here's Tom and his mum's mini. Look at that. Absolute piece <laughs> of equipment. What car? Anyway, um, yes, that was the workout. That is my entire leg workout. Um, yeah, if you have any questions or whatever, let me know, either like DM me on Instagram, leave them down below. You know, you can just get hold of me, ask a question, happy to answer. Um, yeah, but that is kind of it for today, really. I've not got much else to do. We're picking Mel up from work in four hours' time, which is eight o'clock. Um, but other than that, there is nothing else for me to do today. So, in that regard i will love you and leave you all thank you very much for everyone that has watched my last two videos this will hopefully be out tonight as well um yeah i mean thank you for the continued support obviously if there's anything any kind of video that you'd be interested to see or you want to see me do um again just let me know more than happy to do it um obviously within reason um but yeah thank you all for watching and i'll catch you um yeah in the next one. Deuces.